So today we'll be going over how to enter new waypoints manually, edit them, and enter waypoint offsets into the navigation system of the Harrier. Additionally, I will show you how to designate these waypoints for weapons employment. I'm sure many of you have been waiting a good long time for this update. I will be using coordinates for a target at Sanaki Kolki. You can get the coordinates from your mouse pointer on the F10 map from the top left of your map. Pressing left alt y will cycle the various different coordinate types. You can use this in conjunction with the moving map, however for readability on YouTube I will have the map switched off. Start by bringing up the EHSD on one of your displays, press the data button to bring up the data entry overlay. You might notice we can now see the currently selected waypoints coordinates and details at the top. To edit the waypoint, enter the number of an existing waypoint and press enter. To create a new waypoint, enter a number greater than the current flight plan and press enter. It'll automatically increment to a new waypoint. For this reason, I like to enter 77 and push enter when creating a new waypoint. You'll see an asterisk which denotes if a new waypoint is being created. With your waypoint selected, press the POS position button to start entering longitude and latitude coordinates. Start with the northern coordinates. For this we have to press 2 to select north, and then enter the 6 character coordinates and press enter. Next, push the POS on the ODU again. Now press 6 to enter east, and enter the 7 character coordinates for east. Remember to include the preceding zeros to keep the format correct. So, for example, if we have the number 42, 2, 1, 8, we would need to enter it as 0, 42, 0, 2, 1, 8. Finally, on the ODU, press E, L, E, V for elevation and enter the coordinates elevation in feet. Note that it will automatically set the altitude to ground level unless you set it otherwise. Once entered, the EHSD will now show the location of your waypoint. UTM coordinates are not currently available for entry, and will be added in a later update, however I expect them to be much the same for entry. Additionally, you can edit any existing waypoints with the TDC SLU. Open your EHSD. This works best with the moving map enabled, so we will enable that by pressing the Map M and then the Map button on the right. Press data, press the sensor select switch forward to select INS focus for the TDC. Select the waypoint you wish to edit with the on screen buttons, and now you can slew the waypoint around with the TDC controls and place it where you would like your waypoint to be. The slew speed is controlled by the zoom level of the map. The more zoomed in you are, the slower the slew rate. As a note, make sure you disable auto scale before entering this mode, otherwise it will automatically scale in as you get closer to your aircraft. The waypoint will automatically update its coordinates to the position under your cursor. When done, simply press the data button to leave data entry. Be careful not to modify waypoints unintentionally as it saves as soon as you edit. Finally, we can create waypoint offset coordinates from existing waypoints. This is achieved by pressing the data button, select the waypoint you wish to save an offset for, then pushing the WYPT waypoint button on the ODU until it shows WO slash S or waypoint offset. Press BRG to enter the bearing from your selected waypoint and press enter. Press RNG to enter the range in nautical miles up to 100 nautical miles can be set. Numbers greater than 100 nautical miles will be converted into meters instead. To use waypoint offsets, ensure data is not boxed on the EHSD, select your waypoint. If the waypoint has an offset saved, you will now see the WO slash S waypoint offset on the right. Select WO slash S to enable the waypoint offset mode. Now your reference has been switched over to show the offset rather than your waypoint. So now we've created our waypoints, let's use them for locating a target. Enter the coordinates of your target area, or select a pre-configured waypoint. Enter the Air to Ground Master mode, press the DSEG designate button on the EHSD. This will slave your DMT and your Maverick sensors to the selected waypoint. From here you can simply engage as you normally would.
rifle. And rifle. As you might expect, this adds quite a lot of functionality to the Harrier when it comes to mission planning. With the ability to manually create flight plans and also receive coordinates from other forces. This is a big step up for the Harrier's ability to operate and find targets. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and take care.